Yo, what's going on guys? So today we got a review video and the review is on a mic, but before we get into that, I got this nice beer and this is a very, very popular beer in Connecticut. It's a well-known beer. It's called Double Scoop by Back East Brewing. They make a IPA called Ice Cream Man and then they came out with a double IPA version of that and they named it Double Scoop. So you got Ice Cream Man and then you got Double Scoop. This is the Double Scoop 8.4 and it's the double version of our beloved ice cream man. This double IPA is full of citra hops and tropical citrus flavors. Perfect for when one scoop isn't enough. Simply put, sip of this. I don't think you'll ever have me do a review in this studio without drinking a beer. I mean, it kind of just goes hand in hand. So without further ado, Comica VM20. This case, by the way, that they give you is really nice. It's cargo-like, but it's also kind of hard shell. Not all companies give you a really nice case like this. Shout out to Comica for really just stepping up and giving you a case, because like I said, not all companies do this, and that's just a really nice touch. Let's talk about this mic a little bit before we dig into it. This is a rechargeable mic. What's really nice about this, the battery life is amazing. I don't worry about turning it on, turning it off every time I record. I turn it on in the morning and I turn it off at night. That's like a big thing for me because I'm on the go and I don't wanna like make that mistake of like, oh my God, is my mic on? Like yada, yada, yada. I turn this mic on in the morning. Throughout the whole entire day, I leave it on. Make my vlogs, never turn it off. Even when I'm not using my camera, I do not turn it off. It's on all day. It maybe uses 30% of the battery. You can get two, three days out of this mic, no problem, and that's awesome. The battery life is amazing. I've had this mic now for a couple months and the battery has not lost any juice at all. So that's why I'm making this review. I have used this mic for, for a few months now and I really, really, really like it. The battery life is amazing. Yes, it's chargeable and it gives you a USB-C cord, which is really nice because that's like the new standard. You know, anything that's being made right now should have a USB-C. This mic also has a gain controller. It goes from zero to 10 and it has a low cut filter. It's either off 75 Hertz or 150 Hertz. Now let's dig into this case and see what you get. So you open up the case and now you got your microphone. It's a shotgun mic. You got your pop filter, also known as a foam filter, and then you have your dead cat. Now the way that this dead cat works is they want you to slip it over the foam filter when it's on your mic. Don't take the foam filter off and then put the dead cat on. It's not gonna fit right, it's sloppy, it doesn't work. They want you to put the dead cat over the foam filter and quite frankly, I really like that setup. I, it gives you extra protection and that's how it should be. I mean, I feel that a dead cat should go over the foam filter. I know that there are some brands out there that where you take the foam filter off and then put the dead cat on, but I mean, I just don't see the point in that. Cinch it. Tighten it up, make sure no airflow gets into the back, and it also tightens everything up. It works really well. So now you got your cables, you got your cable for your smartphone, mobile devices, and then you have your camcorder or camera cord. Two cords are different. You can't use the smartphone uh, cable on your camera cable. They're, they're two different jacks, and if you make the mistake, you won't get the right audio. So what's really nice about Comica is they label it on the cord. They label it if it's for a camera or a smartphone. So yeah, uh, smartphones, tablets, anything like that, use that cord. And then for your cameras, GoPros, yada, 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 use this cord, make sure you, get it, make sure you use the right cord because you don't want to record a video and then realize it didn't record any audio. You also have your horseshoe shock mount. It's a really nice shock mount too. It, um, it, it absorbs the vibrations from when you're walking or running or doing whatever you need to do. It does, a, it does a pretty good job of it. I haven't noticed any clicking or anything like that. Yeah, the shock mount works really well. Um, and then you got your instructions. So how I'm gonna make this video is we're gonna go through the settings and we're gonna listen to the mic at the different settings. So we're gonna start at zero gain. The low cut filter will be off. We'll start at zero gain. Then we'll go to five gain and then we'll go to 10 gain. Low, medium, high. And then after the gain setting is done, we'll keep the gain at three. And then we'll start with low cut filter off, low cut filter at 75 Hertz, and then low cut filter at 150 Hertz. From using this mic and what I've, I've come to understand is that the gain makes the mic more sensitive, like the background noise. So in this studio, I just want you to focus on my voice. So 
I have the gain at zero and I have the low cut filter at 150. If I'm going hiking and I'm like, oh my God, it's really quiet in here, listen to the nature. I can turn the gain all the way up and I feel that it makes all the background noise very sensitive to the mic, the mic picks it up. So if you're trying to hear like a cricket or like the wind blowing, gain all the way up to 10 and you'll hear that. So that's what I really like about this mic is you can really customize the type of audio you're trying to grasp for your video. If I'm walking in the woods and I'm talking, I don't want you to hear anything other than what I'm trying to say because you don't want that background noise. But if I say, oh my God, it's so peaceful in here, I will turn the gain all the way up and you'll be able to hear everything crystal clear in the background exactly like what I'm hearing in real life. And that's just amazing. Testing one, two, three. This is the Comica VM20 with no gain and no low cut filter. Testing one, two, three. This is the Comica VM20 with no gain and no low cut filter. Testing one, two, three. This is the Comica VM20 with the gain at five with no low cut filter. Testing one, two, three. This is the Comica VM20 with the gain at five with no low cut filter. Testing one, two, three. This is the Comica VM20 with the gain all the way up at 10 with no low cut filter. Testing one, two, three. This is the Comica VM20 with the gain at 10 all the way up, no low cut filter. Testing one, two, three. This is the Comica VM20 with the gain at two with a low cut filter at 75 Hertz. Testing one, two, three. This is the Comica VM20 with the gain at two and the low cut filter at 75 Hertz. Testing one, two, three. This is the Comica VM20 with the gain at two and the low cut filter at 150 Hertz. Testing one, two, three. This is the Comica VM20 with the gain at two and the low cut filter at 150 Hertz. Yeah, it's really a no-brainer, guys. I mean, if you're if you're looking for a high-quality mic for a really good price, this is it. This has the adjustments that the Rode doesn't have, and like I said, I just think it sounds better. That's preference. I understand that's preference. Some people might think the Rode sounds better, but there is a difference between the two, and I just think that this one sounds better. So not only it's like $80 cheaper, but I think the quality is better. You get a lot more with this. You get more customizations with the settings, and they give you this really nice case. This beer is really good. So yeah, thanks for watching this video. If you could like, comment, and subscribe, that means a lot to me. Thank you, and I'll see you for the next vlog. Peace.